Late today, we did learn of an American music pioneer lost. He founded the influential Velvet Underground, and there were too many songs to count. ABC's John Donvan tonight on a legend and his long walk on the wild side. He only topped the charts once in his career. Walk on the Wild Side, 1973. But record sales were never the point of Lou Reed. He was more important than that. A member of that small circle of rock musicians that other rock musicians recognize as changing the genre. In the 60s, it was as songwriter and singer for the Velvet Underground. Where he took rock to darker places than it had been before. Sunday morning, one of those songs that in its time was unlike anything ever heard. Reed was the son of an accountant in Brooklyn, New York, who started out thinking he wanted to be a journalist or filmmaker. He did a college stint as a radio DJ, playing other people's music. When the blood comes down, it's shit. With the 70s, Reed went solo. That's when Walk on the Wild Side came, and travels that saw him in 2000 playing before the late Pope John Paul II. Reed's health was a challenge in recent years. Rolling Stone reported a liver transplant. Reed didn't talk about any of that, not even on Twitter, where he posted up until the last day a link to his Facebook page, which tonight is filling up with tributes from those who get it, why Lou Reed mattered. It was the music, nothing else. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington.